You know, there are heroes among us right here in Florida. With all the bizarre stories and all the bizarre characters that are a part of them, there are wonderful people out there, and too often they don't get the coverage they deserve. A couple of stories we focused on on the radio deserve a little Bud's Rants and Raves video treatment right now, I think. It involves a couple of guys who decided to get involved and tried to do the right thing. First of all, you've got a Marine up in Jacksonville um, who hears a wreck near his house, hops in his car, goes out to see what he can do. Three people get out of the wrecked car, walk toward him, put a gun to his face, and fire it into his jaw. Somehow this tough old Marine took one of these guys out before he got away and got home to safety, but he's undergoing multiple surgeries. And the sad thing is, he tried to help these people involved in a wreck, and he gets shot in the face for his trouble. And he now says, you know what? Never again. I'm done with reaching out in this way. And how sad that is, but you can understand why he would feel that way, given what happened to him. But God bless him. One of those tough old U.S. Marines, none finer, trying to do the right thing, and look what he got. Then we got a guy over in Sarasota who's uh, in an overnight pharmacy, and he sees a guy start to hold up the counter. And he's, uh, he's going after some prescription drugs that he shouldn't have, powerful painkillers, and he's got a hood over his head. So he fakes having a gun, you know, looks like he has one in his pocket, turns out he doesn't. And, of course, he gets all the pills from the pharmacist who has no idea, you know, what will happen if he doesn't give up the pills. And suddenly this guy comes up behind on surveillance camera and puts his puts his arms around the guy's neck and drags him to the ground, holds him there until the cops come, arrest him, and take him away. He took a tremendous risk. He said, listen, I saw something in progress, a robbery, and I thought, no police in sight. Who's going to stop it if I don't? And he did it, even though the cops warn us that that's not what they want us to do. But sometimes, if you wait for the police, you wait for 911 to get a response for you, um... Sometimes, sometimes things don't turn out so well. This guy took matters into his own hands, and thank God they did. But just a, a couple of salutes to a couple of heroes there who tried to do the right thing with varying results right here in Central Florida. That's what I think. What do you think? Join me for the next edition of Bud Henninger Live right here on News Radio 1025 WFLA, and I will look for you then.